Hi, it's me, Ali. Day two, Caldicott to Gold Cliff. I'm doing it today with my friend Liz, and the day is beautiful. <laughs> Sun's out at the moment, although I think it is subject to change. We've driven, or I drove to, to Gold Cliff and left my car there, and Liz picked me up, and we've driven to Caldicott, and we're at Caldicott Station where we left off last time. It's supposed to be nine and a half, ten miles, so we'll see. We've got our Fitbits on, and updates later we finally made it down to the river let's go and have a look at the view let's see what the tide's like oh, i shouldn't have gone up this steep bank and there's the that's where i was last time we couldn't walk along the coast there because you probably can't see these red flags in the distance um that's the shooting range so we've had to bypass the shooting range walk along the lanes finally here you can see both bridges there and not a bad day i was quite busy as a few people around and we've got a long walk now for miles along the coast such a beautiful day and look tide is right down We've walked over four miles and it's just along this path, gorgeous. The old second seven crossing in the distance. These wooden posts are part of an ancient butcher rank that they used to attach wicker baskets to to catch salmon. An old fishing, fisherman's thing. Not sure what's going on here, but it's a Christmas tree with lights. Somebody is lost here, but across the top, So me and Liz are just about to strip off. It's too far away now. I should have done it when I was nearer, but if I was going to live in a farm, it would be that pink one. Wow, those windows are amazing. Yeah, those really space. beautiful. Oh. Look at the swans. Peb thinks she's going to get them. Go across the water first, Peb. Protecting. Look at that. Just spot, oh, I thought it was going to spot us there. And off they go. So graceful. Who would have thought there'd be a gorgeous little beach in Newport by there? So green and blue. We've just come off the coastal path. Is um, and we might. There's a tea rooms there. We might go and have something. And it's so open here. Never been here before. It's lovely. Nearly in Goldcliff. We're nearly back to where we started, not far away. Just come in these little tea rooms at the end. And look at this shop. It is just packed full of so much stuff. It is absolutely gorgeous.
So we're going to have a nice cup of tea now to finish off the trip. <gasps> Low power mode. Your time now. We sat in the garden with these beautiful little tea rooms. Having a cup of coffee and a cup of tea. Dogs having snacks. Wait, it's your turn now. It's Pebbles. And it's Wait. just glorious here. Yeah. Wait. I'm giving it to Pebbles, Jane. <laughs> Now we're walking in a field full of sheep. Very windy, as you can tell. Coast up there. Dogs are going to go mad when they spot the sheep. Oh, they've got, a, oh, they've got lambs. Oh, look at these tiny little lambs. Oh, there's always a black one and a white one. How gorgeous. This poor sheep is giving birth. She, her other two lambs are there, look, and there's a lamb coming out of her. She was just lying down. Oh, poor thing. So this is where I leave the coast path now to go to the car which is parked in the pub up here. And this is where I'll be starting from on day three. I'm walking back to the coast at that field. It's so cute round here, it's gorgeous. Just be careful on that side. So there's my car. The owner of the pub earlier said I could park here for the day. Thank you. So we have done to conclude that no my fit bit. We've done 9.68 miles in three under four hours three hours 50 minutes so that was good end of day two